Now, a decorated Irish wartime pilot known affectionately as Spitfire Paddy is the subject of a new film shot right here in the Midlands. The Shamrock Spitfire has already won nearly 50 film festival awards ahead of its general release in mid-March. The film tells the story of 21-year-old Brendan Paddy Finnegan, the youngest wing commander in the history of the RAF. Here's John Bray. It's the plane that defended Britain in World War II and it's affectionately known as the Flying Shamrock in a new film. I think the Spitfire thing was around because our, our dad's always been into Spitfires and recently been reading a lot of books on Spitfires. So I think that we were very aware of the Spitfire and we thought there's, there's bound to be some good stories attached to the Spitfires because those pilots, I mean, not only were they incredibly brave, but there's so many colourful characters. The one name that pops out was Spitfire Paddy and I think that resonated with us mm. because of the Irish connection and the fact that it's an Irishman flying for the RAF. Have you any idea what they'd say back home if they found out that one of Andy Finucane's boys was thinking of joining the British? This is what I want to do. I want to fly. It was important for us to get the blessing of the living relatives. So when we uh, decided we wanted to do this film, we reached out to the family and said, we want to make this movie. It was shot in South Birmingham and North Worcestershire. We love the area, we love Birmingham, we love the Birmingham people and the Worcestershire people have come out and helped us. It's great to be able to ring up Nigel and John and say, we need a Spitfire. There's any chance we can get a real Spitfire and we don't have to worry about it, it? it's their headache. We had 140 actors on this. Yeah, and about, actors and extras, yeah. And about 60 crew in the end. It took us by surprise initially, didn't it, how big it was you know, it was going to yeah. be. It's like going to a firework display with only one rocket <laughs> yeah. and, then and then suddenly realising where's, where's the next bang or flash coming from. The Shamrock Spitfire is now a finalist at the Cannes World Film Festival. Those people can't all be wrong. It's just an extra puff of wind in our sails to say that we've got a cracking movie here. For us, the validation is obviously some of the awards that's been picking up. I think that for us is, is validating yeah. that, that we've done something right with the project. It's all worth fighting for, isn't it? We've done, we've done Brendan Pride. Just giving it a little spit and polish, sir. John Bray, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham.